that's the next thing I'm going to do is recall the shuttle and see if I can get into get into the interloper that way but I don't it's probably a long shot why is the game so framey what's happening computer what are you doing yeah. did I find anything new no apparently it's not mentioned worthy that uh, there's fish in the uh, in dark bramble that want to eat you maybe that's common knowledge who knows Okay, let's recall the shuttle. For that, we need to find the shuttle bay. Which would be here, or the gravity cannon. So I don't know what the actual, like the gravity cannon part of the gravity cannon is useful for, but. Also, I guess we can uh, go back to the Sunless City when we're here. Oh, no, we can't because we're gonna... We're just gonna recall the shuttle. And then... Oh, where's that? That's not what I wanted to do. Wrong, wrong one. What if I do that now? Shoots the shuttle out. Okay. Goodbye, shuttle. It's been real. Can I make it? Can I make it? E I think so. I did. Hooray. Okay, now we can go to the interloper and see if anything's changed up there. Third low power. Where is it? Far. No, not at all. It's, oops, that's not what I want. Let's get away from any celestial bodies before we do anything with the autopilot. So that thing is always. Yeah, yeah, that's on the other side of the sun. That's not gonna end well for me. Okay, so I need to go around the sun. Because if I don't, then I will die. Fortunately, the interloper is coming very close to the sun right now. Well, that hole in Ooh. so close to the thing protect me interloper okay bonk mm. okay so we are pretty much Okay, I need to get out of here because we were just pretty much really close to the sun. So if there's going to be... Yes, it's cracked and it's healing. Damn it. Okay, so that's how we do that. Basically, we need to wait for... Until we get close to the sun. And then it will crack for a short amount of time. Ouch. 
So the shuttle was somewhere here. Yeah, it was right here. Doesn't really change anything. Okay, so we need to be in the front of the interloper and wait for it to get very close to the sun and then it'll open up and we can go in and get trapped in there forever. Fortunately, I think that takes quite a while until we get back to the sun. But I guess that's what these crevices are for, so you can just lodge yourself into them. Should probably reposition the, the spaceship. If I don't, I, it'll be gone. Don't know. Don't think I'll be able to come back out, but this seems to be a good place to park it safely. Very, very professional parking job. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Wait, maybe I can break it with the spaceship. Maybe. Because we heard that cracking sound when I was in the front of the thing. When I was with my spaceship. Maybe it was because we... No, I don't think that did anything. No, didn't. Okay, so I guess the idea is to lodge myself in there. And just wait. Uh, do that. Uh, first, get the spaceship to relative safety. I still go for a ride, who knows. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, let's go for a walk. Oh, that's a bit fast. I guess it's fine as long as I'm somewhere in these crevices. I'll try to get in the middle so I don't have to do it again. Basically, I think the goal is just to stand somewhere in here and as we get close to the sun, we should fall into the thing. If I can lodge myself in here, it doesn't really matter because I'll just slip out. That's white hole station. That's a snowflake. It's cool because we're always drawn to the nearest object, I think. Or I don't know. Hope I don't run out of uh, oxygen. We'll see. I guess there's not that much to do right now. Wish we could access the uh, ship log from here. Oh wow, we're still very far away. We were just on the return. We're just on the furthest uh, outer position, which is right here, Whitehall Station. Uh, Timberhurst got the quantum moon right now. Guess I'll refill my oxygen while I'm at it. 
Uh, so I think I have enough time to do that. Can't doze anywhere in this ship, can I? No. I think we'll get access to oxygen, but just in case, I'll just stay here a little bit longer. Okay, let's go to fly. So we don't waste the opportunity. cracks at though there we are okay should be starting now yes hello mr cracks That's really neat. Uh oh. Okay, so there's ghost matter. Let's not go there. Where's the ghost matter though? Oh, that scared me. Let's read this. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it, it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Clary, yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communications entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep, Poke, keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Okay, so where is the ghost matter at? Oh, that is... Hello, Mr. Ghost Matter. Okay, I found the Ghost Matter. Damn it. Am I supposed to just go through it, maybe? Or go down a different hole? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't remember which one it was. Fortunately, I think the interloper is close to uh, the sun very soon after the beginning of a cycle. And here, here, interloper. No, it's not, but it's on its furthest part out, which isn't that bad. Where's the sun? Try to get to the interloper before he gets close to the sun. Let's try not to run into the sun, because that's not ended well for me in the past. Oh, 
Okay. I feel like we're gonna crash. I love the autopilot, it's just so such a useful feature. Do I even have time to repair this thing? Yes, I do. Doesn't matter because it's gonna fly away into the sun, anyways. There's the. Uh, is that everything is broken? That's pretty good. We're flying into a comet at like way too fast. That autopilot that is a dangerous thing. It's always trying to kill you. Could we park the ship? I don't think it matters, to be honest. I don't think we're going to be coming back. Also, now we know that there's trees down there, so I don't need to refill my oxygen in the ship. This game is just so special. It's, it's awesome. Just like that this is the mini map and everything moves in real time and it's, it's just just an amazing game. Like I, I don't know how many hours I've played of it yet, but I'm still amazed a lot a lot of the time. Stuff like that. Flying past the hourglass twins. Okay. Okay, so we know that there's ghost matter in here. Okay, I think I went down that one and I think those two connect. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the most left one, and if I do run into ghost matter, I'll just fall through it. Yeah, there's ghost matter here. Okay, I'm alive. So I guess that was the point. There's ghost matter down there. Which is unfortunate because I don't think I can survive going through another layer of it. Okay, I need to go to the right. I need to go to the left. Well, I see the ghost matter. Oops, don't do that. We want to go up here then. Okay, so we found our dead explorer, at least one of them. I 
I guess that's the source of the energy signature. Oh, wow. Okay, and there's our second dead explorer. Guess we're gonna find out what happened to them. And I think we're gonna die as well. Folks, the spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy reading. readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some so form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be 10 times what we're seeing, at least. Poke. Hi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. Hi, I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's, uh, it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, the matter is, disturbed, is disturbing the volatile. Poke. Pi. Whatever the matter inside uh, the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at the density. Look at the density scan. I've never seen anything this tight, tightly compacted before. What is it? Hi. Um, this is orders of magnitude worse, worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blank blanketing this star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? Pi, the more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, poke. Okay, so that means that stuff is bad and I can not get out that way. kind of want to see what happens if I fly inside. I'm gonna die probably just. Wonder how I can, if I can rupture it. That'd be very interesting. Well, since the universe is ending anyways, or not the universe, but our solar system is ending anyways. So this is probably the source of the ghost matter. Don't think it would. Oh, oh I'm going to die of oxygen problems. I wonder if this is the cause of the explosion like maybe the last time um, 
Maybe the last time we get close to the sun, it just flies into it or something like that. No, I don't want to go there. That's going to end poorly for me. Don't think I can get around dying anyways. I think I'm going to die anyways of uh, oxygen or... I don't think there's another way out. think I missed anything. Uh, no, I wanna go. Where do I need to go? Okay. Means I'm gonna die now. Okay, I wonder what the ship log says about that. 